Hello and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's Monetizer. This is where we look at free-to-play uh, mobile games and have a look at just kind of how they're operating and how they're monetizing. So the game I'm looking at today is um, called Compass Point West from a um, startup Finnish developer called Next Game. So as you can see here, um, there's some base, there's a, base, a base element to it. So I guess kind of following in the theme of, of strategy games like Clash of Clans, there's a base building element and a, an attacking building element to it. Um, some, some kind of a differences. Um, Obviously the theme, um, you can tell it, you can see here, zoom in, nice 3D graphics. So this is all about um, kind of the Wild West. So you've got kind of gunslingers and saloons and stuff. Um, very similar in the kind of underlying resources. So we've got <coughs> two sets of resources. We've got goods and gold, you can see them filling up here. We've got diamonds. Again, fairly straightforward, you can buy these, this is the hard currency. These are used to unlock um, various boosts, you can see up here. Um, or to speed things up, so there's some boosts here. So uh, the other kind of interesting thing we'll come to in a minute is is kind of um, the hybridization. So a lot of games are using kind of base building and attacking, and then trying to put in different gameplay. So something that they've tried to do in in this game is is have kind of card elements. So instead of having you have the base where you kind of um, have some defensive units, um, and obviously you have this kind of you have the, the storage um, for resources. Um, you have the Courthouse is basically like the um, the town hall, so it's basically it kind of tells you what level you are really um, and how much your units can be leveled up. But um, unit-wise, you have um, it's all based around cards, so you're not really based around training um, units in the same way as in a lot of strategy games. And obviously, people have seen card-based games are very um, popular in, in in places like Japan and Korea and China and monetized very highly. Um, you know, particularly depending on how you set up the monetization. Um, so what they've tried to do um, with this game is, is use card base elements but not monetize in such a kind of aggressive manner. So if we go into the card base element, you can see here, so there's a so there's a basic pack, so this is time based, so every two hours you get the opportunity to uh, get some more cards from the basic pack. Then the silver pack, so this is a better chance of rugged and veteran cards, so as, as we expect in card based games, the um, cards have different um, kind of levels, different kind of um, that shows how kind of powerful they are. <coughs> so rugged is the first is um, basic is basic then is rugged and veteran. Um, also here it's in the Taurus. So the gold pack I have to get my silver into level five before I can do that. But um, the interesting thing is, is I can um, with the silver pack anyway I can just buy these with soft currency. So in we go. Okay, so I can't. <laughs> so um, I still have to. So basically what I've done is now it's swapped out. So um, instead of having the basic pack, it's going to. Um, you have to wait two hours. Um, obviously, you're not going to wait two hours. So I can spend 29 diamonds to get it now. So let's, in the process of showing you what how it goes, let's do that. Okay, so open the deck. So, so three cards. Which one do I want? So these are all. These are kind of different. Um, you have different. Um, you have attack, basically attack cards and, and kind of um, resource cards. So, the, so William Wealth. He's the gold card. The Tin Man is a is a kind of an attack card. Um, what should we have? Let's have a rugged William Wealth. Okay, um, so again, there's a the gunslinger, um, or there's two regular cards here. Um, so let's have the rugged one. It's a slightly higher level, and because I've I've paid um, normally you only get two hands um, to choose from, but I've paid some diamonds earlier on, so I get three hands on this. We'll see that in the booster. So again, um, let's have another William Wealth. And those are the three cards I've collected. I could buy if I want to. Um, I can go in and this is the booster shop, so I bought this extra draw permanent booster. Um, I could buy, um, so this grants me an extra draw, so that's why I get three draws into the two, and this grants me an extra card from every draw. So if I bought that one, I get six cards. Um, I don't think I'll do that though. Um, so done. So, oh, uh, we're gonna, I'm not going to rate you at the moment. No, I'll get rid of that. So now you can see it's gone back to, um, in case I'm counting down to a basic pack, or again, I can spend more to get the um, silver pack. So at any one point there's a pack, so presumably with a gold pack that'll be the same thing, it'll still count down. So if we go here, these are my cards, so we can see I've got three William Wealth cards, one goody good card and a, a James Spencer. So James Spencer um, speeds things up. Um, so you can kind of, uh, instead of just kind of buying, winning the cards, you can also merge them. So if you get four of these you can merge it to, to one of these. Um, so. Uh, if I get my saloon to level five, I can merge four of these into the next um, kind of uh, high level of cards. Um, if I want to use them, if I activate it, it will give me 3,500 gold. So there we go. And with the gunslingers, ah, oh, so let's see if I can do this. No, so my saloon is to level four, but I've got five of these Tin Man cards. So if I 
can get it up to that. Let's see what I need to do for my saloon. So I can, yeah, I've got enough so we can upgrade that. Um, so I can use it for the purposes of this demonstration. Let's use 10 diamonds to speed that up. Okay, so let's go. It's telling me now I can merge merge four regular tin men for one rugged tin men. It's going to cost me a bit. Oh, I probably haven't got enough money now, have I? Not enough currency. I'll go on. So there we go. Off they go. So I've only got one of those now, and I've got... Oh, you can see the difference in the uh, graphics there. Okay, so now I've got all these uh, units. Let's go off and do some of the... Um, action part of the game so this is the this is very much um, reminiscent of Supercell's Boom Beach I think so there's there's um no oh, pick that up there we go a few diamonds to pick up that's very very reminiscent of Boom Beach as well we can just randomly find diamonds always nice to see so these are different areas I can attack um so I haven't got any gold so let's see <laughs> give me some gold and we've got enough no um okay so this is obviously kind of a pve scenario so that's what i got to attack um, you see all these enemies i find actually the um <coughs> this bit is maybe not very good at it but um it's quite difficult <laughs> Um, so I've got six of the basic cards, um, two of these Tin Men cards, and two of these Dynamite cards. But there's only a certain amount I can deploy at any one point. So I can, at the moment, I can deploy all six of those and one of those. So off they're going to go. I can kind of have three of these um, kind of uh, flag cards, so I can kind of tell them where to go. They have some basic AI. Um, as I destroy things, I can I can get to unlock more, deploy more units. So let's see how they get on. I just think I'll leave them to get on with it, really. Oh, this guy's going the wrong way. He's going to be a goner, I think. But it's proved a good good diversionary tactic. So let's try and get them all going in there. Looks like we might do it. There we go, victory. Da, 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 da. So I've got some injured cards. So because it's a card based thing, not a unit thing, your cards, the, your units aren't killed. Or, um, they just basically um, kind of uh, tap out and just need to. And so again, again, it's time based. So oh, let's select a card. Nice. I got a. Okay. So now that's um, my perspective. That's basically going to provide more gold for me. Um, so if I go back here, this is kind of the hospital, you can see the medicine wagon, so I can speed them all up if I want to, but um, they're basically being healed, and I can't really do anything with those characters um, for another minute and a half. Um, so there we go, so that's um, Compass Point West. Um, kind of, a, I guess, an interesting hybrid, hybridization. Lots of people are trying different way, different things in this kind of strategy genre, whether the kind of a, the card-based element, I mean, it's very different from a, a Puzzle and Dragons type game, much more casual, but whether casual a casual audience like card-based games, um, difficult to tell really. There's not really been any big hits in the West of, of, of card games, um, or even games that use kind of card games apart from obvious ones like like Hearthstone, which obviously is not you could argue not really a casual game. Um, so the, I guess the interesting thing with with this game is is it's designed to be the first of a series of four. So there's Compton Point West, this this one, then there's obviously North, South, and East kind of planned. I guess that obviously that depends on how well this one does. Um, it's only been out a couple of weeks, so kind of quite hard to tell. But it's not it's not shot to the top of the charts. But I guess the charts are not things you shoot to at the top of at the moment. Um, but there's some nice little elements here. So there's this as well. You can travelling show, so you can kind of watch a video advert and get win some diamonds or 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 get a gunslinger. Um, so I think it's, it's um, yeah, and kind of say nice 3D and kind of nicely put together. Um, so as a debut kind of game from from uh, these guys, kind of pretty good going. Um, so I guess we look to see how well they manage to uh, get out the charts and whether we see any more games in the uh, in the Compass Point series.